Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels of Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask, so I'll tell you. They accepted the meaning of angel is messenger and they accept the meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. And so my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, as you can see, I don't actually have a guest with me today. Um, but what I will be talking about is the benefits of future life progression and then taking you into a future life with a loved one. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray and I love to help women at a crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy and I use future life progression, past life regression, um, angel cards, meditation, angelic reiki and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their path. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now please do feel free to share this out to anyone that you feel might be a benefit for this and please do ask questions, make comments as although this is recorded, it is going out live as a recording. So I should be live watching you at the same time that you're watching the video, if that makes sense. Um, so I will answer any questions or comments that you, that you do make. Um, so future life progression. As you know from my previous show, um, I spoke a little bit about future life progression and how you can use it to take you into the future. Now, if you think about it, um, science has proven that only 5% of our thoughts um, come from our conscious mind and that 95% are coming from our subconscious mind. So if we want to make um, significant positive changes, then the best way to do this is to go beyond the critical conscious part of the mind and change the way the thought pattern whilst in an altered state of consciousness, which I like to call um, wakeful dreaming. And that's how I see future life progression, not as a hypnosis, but as a wakeful dream. So when I say wakeful dream, an example of that would be you're driving from A to B. And when you get to B, you suddenly think, I don't actually remember my journey. How on earth did I get here? But you know that you would have stopped at every traffic light, given way. And that's, and that's really what, what wakeful dreaming is. You're conscious, you're aware of what you're doing, but your subconscious is taking over um, and allowing your, yourself to experience more than, 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 you, than, you, than you would do. So why future life progression? Well, if you knew five years ago what you knew now, what changes would you have made? You know, if you were to go back uh, and asked, so if you went back five years and asked yourself today, you know, should I have kept that relationship? Should I have changed that relationship? Should I have taken that job? Should I not taken that job? And yourself now would be telling yourself back then, well, you should have done this, 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 or you shouldn't have done that. So that's how future life progression works. So if you think about it, everything you do in your present creates your future. So if you change the, your decisions or behaviors um, now, then this will create the best possible future for you um, in, the, in the future, if that, if that makes sense if that makes sense. If it doesn't, it does to me, but if it doesn't, please uh, um, uh, ask and I'll try and make it a, a, bit more, a bit more clearer. I'll write it up so it's a, a little bit more clearer for you. So some of the benefits um, of future life progression and how it can help you. So imagine that you're offered a job and it seems like a dream job, but you're not 100% sure whether you should or shouldn't take it. So what we can do with future life progression, we can take you five years into the future if you don't take the job and see where your life is in five years in the future, what you're doing, how you feel. Then we can bring you back and then take you five years into the future if you take this job and you can explore how you feel, what you're doing, 
you can even talk to your talk to your future self and get an idea of whether this is a good job for you and then you can come back now if you're happy with how this new job's going then you're going to take that new job if you're not happy with that new job but you're kind of thinking actually I, that new job's not for me but I still don't understand this job then what we can do is take you five years into the future to see your best possible job and you can see what that may be um, so you'll, so you'll have another idea of a job you should be going for or it could be that when you've gone five years into the future in your current job that actually things are really great things have moved on there have been changes that have been made so it can help you in that way Again, it can help you with um, decisions. So say you were lucky enough to um, be proposed to by two, two guys, just say. Um, you would go five years into the future with Bob and see what your life is like married to Bob. Then you'd go five years into the future to see what your life was like married to Mike. And you see what your life was like married to him. Now, if your life with Mike was absolutely brilliant, the most wonderful thing in the world, then you'll marry Mike. If it was the most wonderful thing with Bob, then you'd marry Bob. But if it wasn't brilliant with either Mike or Bob, then what we could do is take you into the future to see your best possible future relationship. And for there, you might see somebody you've never met before, or it might be someone you've known as a friend or in the past who actually becomes your future partner. You know, I've had clients who have actually seen their future partner and have been given the name, so they actually know what, what their future partner is going to be called. So how brilliant is that, that you're actually going to know what your future partner's name is, who you're going to have the best relationship with? Um, you know, and people are also using future life progression if they're looking at selling their house and they're looking for the next, the next property they're going to live in. Um, so you go five years into the future, where am I going to be living in five years into the future? And you see the, the property you're going to be living in. But you can ask your future self, how did I sell my previous property? What did I have to do? How did I go about it? And you'll be given the answer so that when you come back, you can actually put those things into place now so that you sell your house quicker. So you, so it, you don't have to wait five years, you can actually bring that property into, into uh, reality now. And they're just a few of um, the benefits of using future life progression. And I mean, there are so many more, but I'll probably leave those for another, another episode of the show. So that's kind of like some of the benefits of future life progression. Now, Teaching future life progression or being a future life progression practitioner is absolutely brilliant. I love doing it. It's kind of like really was the missing, the missing part. You know, I've been using past life regression to um, help people heal their past so that when they've healed their past, whether it's in this lifetime or a previous lifetime, because it's healed, they don't worry about it in the present, so they get on with their present. And by taking people into the future, where they see their future, they're not worried about it anymore and they know the changes they need to make. So that brings them back to the present. So in the present, they can, they're not actually worried as much as they were. So please do, if you've got any questions or comments, please do ask, let me know. Um, so I can try and answer them to, to be a bit more specific with it because obviously when I'm talking like this, it's, it's general um, for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take you into a future lifetime with a loved one. Um, so, of course, I'll give the usual warnings that we always give. And that is, please don't do this whilst you are driving. Uh, make sure you're either indoors or if you have been driving, you're parked up safely. Um, to actually uh, do this, this waking dream, to do this future life. And if you're indoors, you know, make sure you're not going to be disturbed. Uh, all the electronics are turned off, phones are switched off. Um, the dog's in another room. You, you know, you really want to be nice and comfortable. And if you um, 
can have a drink with you. Um, and you can either sit or lie down when we're doing this. Um, it, it, does, it doesn't matter which, which way around you are, just so long as you're comfortable. And whilst you're either sitting or laying down, if you find that doing this you need to scratch your nose or move an arm, then please do. There is nothing worse than trying to um, go into a relaxed state and you're going, okay, she's taking, she's relaxing me, but my nose is itching, but I can't move because that just takes you out of it. Scratch your nose, move about. You, you know, it won't stop you getting into that relaxed state um, that I'm taking you into for you to access your subconscious mind. And as I said, again, you'll be totally aware of everything that's going on around you. So if you're ready, I want you to take a deep breath. And on the out breath, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. Take another deep breath in, giving yourself permission to relax. And on the out breath, just let go of any worries or cares you may have at this moment in time. Take another deep breath in. Again, giving yourself total permission to relax. And on the out breath, just releasing anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. And just allow your breathing to fall into your natural rhythm, giving each in-breath the chance to relax you more, and each out-breath just releasing everything that doesn't need to be here. And now I want you to see, fully imagine or know a beautiful golden light at the top of your head. It's a beautiful light of peace and relaxation and safety. And now just allow this light to come down into your aura. Just coming down, creating a golden glow around you. Bit like the old Ready Break adverts. As you see this beautiful golden relaxing light around you. And just allow this light to fill you completely, physically, mentally, and emotionally, bringing peace, relaxation, and safety all around you. And now just feel the top of your head relaxing. As this relaxation moves down into the back of your head, into your brow as you feel your brow just relaxing, all those muscles of your forehead just smoothing away as your temples relax and you feel your eyes relax and your eyelids so heavy and relaxed. This relaxation moves down into your ears, your nose, your cheeks, your mouth and your jaw. And how wonderful it feels for your jaw to be so relaxed. And this relaxation now moves down into your neck. Can you feel the back of your neck relaxed? Your throat relaxed. As this relaxation now moves down into your shoulders. And how wonderful it feels to let your shoulders just totally relax. It's as if there's beautiful golden sunshine just shining down, massaging your shoulders. As this relaxation moves further down into your upper arms your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands and your fingers. How wonderfully relaxed your arms feel, so relaxed and heavy. As this relaxation now moves into your body and you feel your chest muscles relax, your stomach muscles relax, 
the whole of your back just totally relax and your spine relaxing vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae as this relaxation moves further down into your hips your pelvis your buttocks as you sink deeper down into the chair or the floor where you are sitting or lying and now this relaxation moves further down into your thighs, your knees, your calves, your shins, your ankles, your feet and your toes. And you feel so relaxed. No cares or worries. Just feel a sense of total peace and relaxation. And there is someone who has passed away and who you are missing. So just focus on that person. You do not need to feel sad in any way. Just remember some of the special times that you have spent together. Notice what you remember about them, perhaps the sound of their voice or how you felt when you were with them. Remember them in as much detail as you can. Just know that when you've had such a strong connection to someone, they will be with you again in a future lifetime. And in a moment, you'll be visiting a future lifetime and meeting with your loved one. So focus on your breathing and just imagine that you're standing in front of a huge stately mansion you look around and you notice how everything is perfectly kept. The flower beds with a beautiful array of flowers. Even the driveway is immaculate. And there are steps leading up to a huge solid oak door that has a large brass shiny knocker. You walk up the steps and knock on the door, which just swings open and inside you see a vast hallway. You step inside and look around at the beautiful paintings and you walk across the wooden floor. Above you, a large, beautiful chandelier casting soft light across the room. You find yourself at the foot of a very grand circular staircase that spirals upwards and deep inside you know there is something very special about this staircase. Your inner knowing tells you that this staircase will take you to a higher realm where you will be able to access a future lifetime, one that is connected and that will connect you with someone very special. There is someone you have lost in your current time that you would love to dearly connect with again and again. So just know your loved one will be waiting for you at the top of the stairs. You walk towards the staircase and as you make your way up, you have a great sense of peace. Because you know that you will be reunited with your loved one. As you make your way up, you know this special person will be waiting for you. You carefully take one step at a time up the stairs because the light is quite dim. 
but each step is lit so you can make out the next step in front of you. You walk up step by step up the vast staircase, each step bringing you closer to your loved one. Soon you are nearing the top. You have a feeling of anticipation as you take the last few steps. And now you're at the top and you step onto the landing. The light is still quite dim, but you're aware of your loved one. The light becomes a little brighter and so you may be able to see them or you may simply be aware of their presence. Take a moment to connect with your loved one. Get a sense of your future lifetime together and what you are to each other. And now you're going to spend some time with your loved one. You can talk to them and ask them what you need to know. You can also tell them what you would like to tell them. And I'll leave you for a moment or two to enjoy this time with your loved one in a future lifetime. Now because this is only a brief future lifetime with your loved one, it will soon be time to come back to the present. So if you have any last minute questions or last minute moments that you want to spend with your loved one in a future lifetime, now is the time to do that. And now it's time for you to come back. So give your loved one a great big hug, one with joy, knowing that you will be reunited again when the time is right, one day in the future. So feel the joy and love as you hug them, knowing that you will see each other again. And now 
it is definitely time for you to come back to the present. And in a moment, I will count from one to five. And by the time I get to five, you will be back here in the present, remembering the love of your loved one and the joy that you know you will be seeing them again in a future lifetime. So coming back now, one, two, coming back fully into your body, into the present. Three, four, you are fully back in your body. You now wiggle fingers and toes, making sure you are fully back, fully present. Five, open your eyes. You are back, you are here. You are fully you in the present. And if need be, drink some water, move about. Just make sure you are fully grounded and fully back here in the present. So, how did you find that? Please do let me know, either publicly or privately if you want to. And if I can answer any questions, I will answer any questions for you. But I do hope you enjoyed going into a future lifetime with your loved one. As I said, future life progression can be used in so many different ways to help you understand the future, that there's no need for worry in the future, so you can fully live in the present. And if you feel you would like more of an in-depth future life progression, then, you know, please feel free to reach out and connect with me. And we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call where we can have a chat. I can find out more about you. You can find out more about me. I can educate you on more of the things I do. And we can work out past life, future life, whatever is better for you at this moment for you to move forward in your life. And of course, if you think, oh my God, this is absolutely wonderful. I would love to be able to help people to go into their future and help them, then why not become a future life progression practitioner? And I just happened to be running a three-day certified training course for you to actually become a future life progression practitioner. It will be taking place on the 15th, 16th and 17th of November at the Clarendon Hotel in Blackheath, which is a very beautiful hotel and it's a five minute walk from Blackheath train station and a 10 minute drive from the A2. Um, and they're also offering accommodation if you don't want to travel every day with a 10% discount, which I think is, is pretty cool. And obviously you've got Blackheath Village, which is a lovely little village to um, actually wander about, get something to eat, do some shopping um, down there. So if you do want to learn the skills of future life progression and help others move forward um, in time without the aid of a time machine, then future life progression really is the perfect way for you to assist in helping people transform their lives and taking charge of their destiny. Um, and as usual, please, I do hope you've enjoyed this show. Um, and I said, any comments or questions, please do ask. Let me know what you thought. And if you feel this would be of benefit to others, please do share. And if you're watching this on my YouTube video, on my YouTube channel, then please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe so you can get updates of any future um, programs that I do put on. And please do feel to join, feel free to join me next week. Um, where I will have a guest again and my guest will be Emily Harrison who um, will be talking about how to access your Kashik records and yes I said it correctly. Um, Emily is such a wonderful vibrant person, um, you'll just love her energy and it's really, she's really quite practical in helping you to access your Akashic records 
which for those, she'll explain more about it, but it's very briefly the records of your past lives, future lives, your present. Um, if you can access them, you get some really great insights. So again, hope you've enjoyed this show and I will see you next week. Bye.